When I say bananas, you say peppers. And let's play a game called What Am I Stepping On? Right now, it appears to be a pencil. You guys, it is your very messy, I just bit my own tongue, your very messy Aunt Bunny here today to hang out with you guys, do a little haul. You guys, I'm feeling good because I have been consistently working out every single day, but I just worked out and I did a spray tan and I'm, I'm feeling very moist right now. So I look like a mess. But as soon as I got done with all of that today, I got a ring at the doorbell. I got a fresh new box in from Baye. And when I tell you guys, that is my latest and greatest obsession. Y'all, Baye, not sponsored, but I like to think of Baye in my head as like the little treat headquarters. Like there is so much amazing stuff there. Like I literally cannot even begin to describe. I got a pair of Doc Martens. I'm kind of grouping together a lot of the items to do more of like a thrifted fashion haul on Graveyard Girl, but I like to share all the fun little like trinkets and keychains and like stationary random items with you guys here on my second channel. But last month, I got a pair of Doc Martens that I had been on the hunt for for years. And I cannot believe I found them on Baye in my size. Like literally everybody here that resells those is selling them for like literally like 800 plus dollars. Absolutely not. I found them on Baye and I paid like $50. 50. They're amazing. So I think we may pull out one or two fashion items here. And if so, I'll just like glaze over them. And if you also are subscribed to my main channel, Graveyard Girl, you may see them again in the near future. But mostly I'm on Baye for things for my Ita bag, which <gasps> I have to like redo my Ita bag, honestly. I was like switching some stuff around. It looks like a hot mess right now. So I'm trying to get like my Ita bag collection built up. I am really obsessed with phone charms lately and I just dabbled into the world of stationery. Like literally, if you have a hobby or an interest, you will be able to find it on Baye and it will be like 200 times cheaper to buy it from there than shopping on like eBay, Poshmark or Macari, just in my personal experience. Anyway, I started opening a couple of the envelopes on the top because I knew this item was in here and I wanted to go ahead and open this so I could give it to my mom. I think that this is maybe the bear from a Disney collection, which is called Bears School. I'm not sure. My mom loves bears, teddy bears. And so I found her this, but look at how cute this is. It's a little coin purse. And I mean, brand new condition. I'm pretty sure I paid like $2.10 for that. Let's see what else I encountered as I opened like the first five top envelopes here. Oh yes. Oh, phone charm. I don't remember if I ever put this video on YouTube or if it was just a Snapchat thing, but I have a small collection. I just recently found out that they're actually like a mystery box thing in Japan where you can get these tiny flip phone replicas. So this came out of a mystery box that somebody had already opened, but I honestly, I love this little like spring thing. It has a phone cleaner charm on it, but I literally just got it for this phone charm. It's a miniature, super realistic flip phone. Look at that. And even it has an antenna and the antenna like actually extends. How absolutely adorable is that? I was entranced by this, you guys. Why? I can't even 100% tell you. This is something that I love finding and collecting. It seems like lots of brands over there, like Pringles or Coca-Cola or whatever, they will make these little like keychains and phone charms and stuff. Like whatever, however did you get this? I don't know. Some of them are dated. I don't see a date on this one. It's a tiny Pringles t-shirt strap. Like you can clip it onto your phone or whatever. And I think that maybe there's even, nope, there's just a, another keychain inside. Some of them I saw actually had like a tiny plastic Pringle chip hanging off from it as well. But this actually has a hard plastic like coat hanger thing inside to help keep it shape. And then I guess you could attach other keychains like on this little ring. I mean, how cute is this? 
this. How cute. Okay, so this I think was homemade. This was like one of the more expensive items, but I simply could not resist it. You guys know how much I love frogs. Oh, look, it even came with a thank you for your purchase note. How cute. Look at this. It's a frog. It's like you can put your chapstick inside of it. It's got wiggly eyeballs. So there's like a little button here to keep the chapstick enclosed inside of it. But look at how cute that is. And it came with like a little baby. He's a little tadpole baby, I guess. He's not a tadpole. A polywog. Too cute, you know? And yeah, I think somebody like literally handmade this. Could not resist it, you know? Okay, I think this is the last one that I pre-opened, although that does not make any sense. Am I missing something? Oh, I always go through these giant envelopes like two and three times before I put this packaging in the recycling bin, because this is what happens, like each separate order you make. That's the only, I have a couple little minor critiques of things that I wish you could do on Baiyi, and that's like if you're buying a couple of things from the same Macari store, I wish they just let you check out and like make one order with multiple items. I don't know how frequently people would do that, but I feel like that would save time, packaging, and money. But each order you make, each purchase comes in these little envelopes and then you consolidate all of your purchases together and then they mail you one big package with all of your orders consolidated in it and you save immensely on shipping, especially if you like shopping in Japan like I do because for instance like this makes shopping on like Amazon Japan seem so expensive now because there were things like I would get tiny little items from Amazon Japan and it would be like a planner or a piece of stationery and it's like a flat envelope and they would charge you like 20 something dollars for shipping. Oh. Um, okay so this is a set of three miniature bags. I feel like these had to go with a doll in Japan. I don't know. It almost looks like it could have been a Barbie type thing. Y'all, I don't even play tennis, but look at how adorable this is. I mean, I feel like clearly it's supposed to be stylized like Louis Vuitton, but it has a little tennis racket miniature that you can actually take out. So it's supposed to be like a tennis bag, but I was like literally just thinking how cute would this be to like load up with some of my miniature things like miniature makeups and stuff. So it came in a set of three. This one looks like a luggage. This looks like a little school bag or a briefcase or something. But how cute is that? So cute. All right. Oh, it looks like this is the other item. Oh yeah, y'all. I told y'all my little special interests lately. I don't know how we would phrase it. Mannequins. I have been looking for different mannequin keychains. And look at these. This is honestly just so strange. I don't think that it's actually about the mannequins. <laughs> I think it's about the wigs because that is somehow how these came up. It's like the wigs are the keychains and you can switch them out on these miniature little mannequin heads. So there is style one and then this is Oh, look, it is three different ones. So this is his second lovely style. And then you can pop that off. And then he can have this, which almost looks like an Elvis haircut. But this is the kind of stuff I love, you guys. It's so weird. Who has ever thought of wig keychain? I don't know. I would almost be scared to carry that like that. Well, in my Ita bag, I would not be. But if I was just going to carry it like a, uh, a keychain, this would be gone in one day. I feel like I wish it attached better so you could like carry the, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. All right, you guys. Up next. Oh, yeah. I also found this in my mannequin search because I guess this is like a medical mannequin of some sort. I don't know. This was like a brain worm to me. I don't know if that makes any sense. You know how they say there's like an earworm for music? I saw a picture of this and at first I wasn't going to get it because I was like, mm, like medical, like ugh, that kind of freaks me out. But it just like, I swear I had a dream about this item, y'all. Sometimes I just get like that in my head. Like, please let me know if you're like 
like that. So I don't even know what this is supposed to be. The listing said it was like pretty old. I don't know if it was like part of a series, if it was in a collection of Gacha, if it was something random. I don't know. I mean, it looks like clearly it was like beloved. Somebody carried it around for a while because it's kind of like chipped and paint is missing. Oh yeah, this I feel like I started looking up statue as well and you'll you'll see why but this is one of the statue keychains that I found once again what does this mean I don't know I loved it it almost looks like it's a magic eight ball or something it is a golden statue he has a little diamond on the front but then you spin it around and inside it says yes and it's got like a clear little like screen there. I feel like that's what makes me think of like a magic eight ball component. It's almost like you would shake it and get an answer. You can't shake it. Well, you could shake it, but it, you know, no change doctor, nothing's happening now that I'm shaking it. Up next, what is it? I don't know. Oh, it's my oarfish. Ha, yes. Something else I started looking up a lot is the word specimen specimen gacha and you'll see why i think there's another thing in here y'all i got to the point where they were like send this package now or lose it like you have 30 days once the seller ships your item to the buy like package center headquarters thing you have 30 days i don't think they like throw away your package if you exceed 30 days but you start like <clears throat> paying an extra fee which obviously i did not want to do so i did have some other things that were on the way but they had had not arrived yet so I basically had to like stop everything I had gotten and send it at that point um so there's something in here it may be in here or it may be coming in my next haul I don't even know why I'm rambling that at you guys it's like a skeleton thing hopefully y'all will see it but this oh I love these yeah nature technicolor these have been some of my favorite gacha to go back and find and collect but I just love the fact that this is a keychain you guys he's kind of like i'm sure y'all can see what's going on i'm gonna set him under some heavy books and stuff to get him to flatten out before i put him on my keys or in my bag because i did see like some people were so once again that's like a little tip which i almost feel like i could make like a separate video at this point which is like tips and tricks for shopping on buy if you guys care maybe let me know in the comments but anytime i find an item like this especially something that's like a gotcha or keychain or something that like there's clearly like more than one it's not like this where it's a handmade item I will go back and search and try and find other listings for that particular item because a lot of times like you'll find one that'll be like two dollars instead of twelve dollars this was like the cheapest one it was like brand new there were some that were flat but they were like more expensive I was like I'm not gonna pay like 10 extra dollars I'll just flatten it out myself oh my gosh yes okay this is gonna go to something that hopefully we're gonna pull out of the box he's a moss ball which will definitely make more sense hopefully soon so he even still has his tag I think they said it was like a y2k thing this does not have a date on it but like literally how cute is he he's a little plushy but just keep that in your mind we'll come back to it in a minute some of these feel like quite bulky oh look it's another it's another thing to make a mental note towards y'all I thought this was so cute and I, I went down a whole moss path which will make sense soon so he is kind of like along with the little last guy we saw he is a a ball of moss which once again just put that in your head it'll be important for lighter um what is this oh this feels oh my god it's Ultraman <laughs> y'all I have a very small collection of retro Ultraman items and this was just like the cutest Ultraman I have ever seen in my life he's like an Ultraman beanie baby and like I'm obsessed he still has his little tag which now I will promptly tear off let me know if any of y'all like Ultraman I forgot how I like got into Ultraman that was like years ago. I have not gotten an Ultraman item in a long, long time. And I don't remember. He came up recommended alongside something else. I don't know. What does this say? Just believe you can do it and proceed. That. We have some very encouraging wasabi tape on there, y'all. 
text messages going crazy. Oh yeah, these are three keychains that it came in a set. It was honestly like less expensive to buy three than the listings I saw that were for just one. And I honestly didn't know which color I liked best, but these would have been like my top three color choices. I don't know if these are gacha or they're just keychains, but they're supposed to be miniature rock candy. So we have blue, pink, and purple. And how cute. Oh, there went the blue one. All right. I can't tell if I'm moving quickly or if this should be two videos. Y'all, it's like, oh yeah, this is another thing. It came cheaper to get three of them. Look at the thanks a million, which you guys, I know I've kind of been like saying this for a little while. I definitely want to start junk journaling again. That's a whole nother video, but yeah, this was also cheaper to get three versus just one. So I got three. They are squished tubes of paint with a little bit of paint coming out. So we have yellow, purple, and green. And I think that these are, or they were, gacha. However, I feel like this has been a long time ago because I had kind of been looking for these on Amazon Japan a while ago. They were always sold out. I never caught them. And then there we go. I found them on Baiyi. All right, who is up next? Oh, this is the science thing. This is what I was trying to tell y'all. I started looking up the word specimen. It's because I was looking for these. And this is actually kind of a cool set. Wow, I didn't know the brain was gonna be so big. They even sent the little like pamphlets that would come in the egg. So I bought this for the skeleton. But once again, this was like a listing. I was really looking for the skeleton, but there were listings I found that was more expensive to just buy the skeleton separately versus this set that is skeleton and brain. So I just got the skeleton brain duo. Here he is. He's supposed to be like a scientific model skeleton. And now I have some skeletons like this, you know, over the years that are like earrings or keychains or whatever, but he just has a different, like he looks like he's here to do science. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? He doesn't look like a Halloween skeleton. He looks like he's here to teach me about bones. This is the brain, which this is a very large brain. I feel like the brain is larger than the whole dang skeleton. I can't decide if this disturbs me yet or not. Like, is this too much science for me? I don't know. Do I need to see a brain? I don't know. But once again, <laughs> It was like, it was like infinitely cheaper. Like the separate skeleton listings were like $17 or something. And I think I got that one for like five. So I took the moderately frightening brain perhaps. All right, what is next? It came with a little note. If anyone can read what that says. Also look at the Mickey Mouse tape. Like the items just come so cutely wrapped. There's always an option for paying for extra wrapping or packaging. And I'm telling you what, I feel like all of the sellers that I've personally experienced on Macari, not only do they wrap it exceptionally well, but they wrap it adorably. Like there's always like special tape, notes, stickers. So cute. Oh, this is my banana man. Yes, look. Which once again, I feel like this has come pre-loved. Like a lot of the things that I buy so cheap, they say a little damaged or dirty, but I'm like, if I'm gonna carry it around on my phone, like it's gonna get this tiny little scuff mark on it anyway. So I thought this was so, so cute. Dogman and I have a neck pillow that we got in LA like a thousand years ago. That is this character, Banana Man. Man, and I feel like I've never seen him again until now. And so there was lots of cute banana man straps, but I feel like I just wanted the most, the most basic banana man that I could get. Oh yeah, I'm so curious how this is gonna look. So I actually got this item to kind of go with another item that I bought on Baiyi. And I think it's like the first time that the seller is maybe not gonna ship my item. Cause I ordered it like back in January and they still have never shipped it. But this is like very, very cute. But I think I'm gonna like leave him in the package just in case the other item comes. But this is supposed to be, like he used to hang off of the top of like a flip phone, but I, I have other plans for him. But he's like the top half of a plug Jack Skellington charm. And it looks like he comes with a little zero. I think that these used to 
they would decorate like an old flip phone antenna. But we're, we're gonna hold on to that in the package just in case. If not, I found like an alternate listing. I'm just kind of like waiting to see if it comes or not. Ooh, oh, y'all, this is nice. Free pouch, free carabiner clip, more mannequin heads. A whole bunch of mannequin heads, which sounds kind of wild, but look, oh, oh, amazing. Okay, that is what I was hoping all along. I was hoping I would be able to use these A, as a keychain or a phone strap, or maybe even like a bead or a charm. And these I will actually be able to thread like a little string up here to more securely carry the mannequin head. But it's basically like what I showed y'all earlier. They have these like interchangeable wigs. Like I, okay, the wig is now not cooperating. Um, or maybe the mannequin head is not cooperating. I don't know, but it was just on there a second ago. Wait, oh, these are different mannequin heads. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. And then also the listing said that some person like drew eyeballs on some of these. So I think some of them have funny expressions. Oh, okay, this must have been a totally different series. Y'all, mannequin heads are rolling all around this room right now. So yeah, I did see some of them were supposed to be straps already. There's another one wearing that same red wig. And we have another one in a red wig. And we have another one in... Oh, look! <gasps> Bombastic side eye. And then what is this one doing? Look at the eyes on this one. That's hilarious. Okay. And then we have uh, two. Oh, these are. I can't tell if these are different wigs or one just has the wig on backwards. But these are honestly really fascinating because look, it's like the mannequin head strung on a charm and then you can just slide the wig down on the head. That's like pretty funny. I feel like you could probably thread different wigs on the top. You guys, with mannequin heads, possibility is endless. All right, one more envelope before I have to pick up more envelopes. Oh, it's my little, yes, this was another specimen. So this was actually a series that is supposed to be skulls that represent the zodiac animal signs. So here we have, I think this was the ox. So it's on a little string. Oh my God, is that like a headphone jack plug? See, I don't know how old some of these are. There were a lot of these that I liked. I also saw a rabbit and I think a monkey that I liked as well. But I kind of liked this one the most. But this was, once again, this was like a more expensive item. So I just picked one. I picked the one I liked the best. All right, you guys, more envelopes. Let me grab them. All right, you guys, I have decided based on the amount of envelopes that are still in that box, I'm gonna go ahead and split this video up into two parts, just so I can go ahead and start editing this one. And I was just doing like a lot of like cleanup, giving the camera a couple seconds to cool off. And I feel like this video has to be super long already. So we're just gonna put a temporary pause on it and I will see you guys again very, very soon. I'm gonna go ahead and film it now just so I can like get everything like organized, clean and separated. Plus I already showed you guys like the little moss guy, but y'all, there is still so many items in that box. And I feel like I explain things like very, very slowly. So I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and like sort all that out, but I will be right back like instantly, but I'll be, I'll be back soon. Bye.